Welcome to my Secret Place Devotion with Oyeks Alfred. The Word of God is alive and equipped to change your life. Good morning. Job chapter 5 verse 19 is such a beautiful scripture. The Bible says, from six disasters he will rescue you. Even in the seventh he will keep you from evil. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Father, thank you so much for your promise to rescue and deliver us from evil, no matter how many they are. Lord, I pray for your people that as they go about today, functioning in different areas, Lord, that you preserve, you will keep, you will protect them, Lord. No matter how many arrows are thrown at them, Lord, that they be preserved from each and every one of them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let's start our devotional by reading from Ephesians chapter 3 verse 8 from the New Living Translation Version. He says, though I am the least deserving of all of God's people, he graciously gave me the privilege of telling the Gentiles about the endless treasures available to them in Christ. Now, this scripture means that there are treasures that are available to us in Christ. They are our inheritance in Christ. They are our rights and our privileges as God's children. Now, if you read that scripture, it is very obvious that these treasures are available to Christians, but they are not available to all men. That's why the Bible says that, you know, it was actually Apostle Paul writing this letter by the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. He says that God had given him the privilege or the grace to preach to the Gentile, that is those who don't know the Lord as um, the Jews did. The Jews were the direct descendants of Abraham, but now these Gentiles are not direct descendants of Abraham, but God wants the Gentiles saved. So he said, God sent him to tell the Gentiles about the unsearchable riches of Christ, the endless treasure that are available to them. But the Bible says it is only in Christ they are available, meaning that a man that is not in Christ will never have access to these particular treasures. Now there are things that are available to all the people that God created. For instance, you know, because he's your creator, the sun and the moon will shine on you. God will preserve you from day to day. That would explain why armed robbers, criminals, kidnappers, terrorists don't die. You know, the moment they kill someone, there's still that mercy of God that keeps them waking up and sleeping every day. God is doing that because he's their creator. However, there are things that he has reserved for only those people who are in Christ. They are not available to the entire world. So let's take an example of one of these treasures shows or what we'll call our inheritance in Christ. Matthew 13 verse 10, Jesus says to his disciples about the parable of the sower. Remember the parable of the sower? You find that in Matthew 13, a man went out to sow um, seed. He sowed on different grounds and they produced different results. And the Bible says in verse 10 that his disciples came and asked him, why do you use parables when you talk to people? And Jesus replied, you are permitted to understand the secrets of the kingdom of heaven, but others are not. I just read from the New Living Translation, but if you read it from the King James, it says, you know, that you're permitted to know the mysteries of the kingdom. In fact, Jesus said, it has been given to you to know the mysteries of the kingdom, but others have not been, you know, given the ability to know the mysteries of the kingdom, meaning that they are mysteries of the kingdom. They are hidden things about the kingdom. The Bible says those that are not in Christ will never have access to them. But if you are a believer, you will have access to them. If you read 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 14, the Bible says, but people who aren't spiritual can't receive this truth from God's spirit. It all sounds foolish to them and they can't understand it. For only those who are spiritual can understand what the spirit means. What exactly is the Bible talking about here? It's talking about the ability to understand the things written in the scripture. It must be very, very obvious to you by now that the Bible is actually a coded book. You can read the English language and understand all the English writings or Hebrew or whatever language it is you're reading your Bible in. But the true meaning will be kept away from you. You will not have revelation of the truths of the word of God if you are not in Christ. That's why Jesus said to them, you are permitted to understand the secrets of heaven, but others are not. So if you want to read your Bible and it's sounding like a storybook, remind the Lord that one of your privileges as a child of God, one of your inheritance as a child of God is to understand the mysteries of the kingdom, is to understand the mysteries that are in the word of God. Ask God to give you 
you revelation. Ask him to give you understanding of the word of God. If you don't have understanding of the word of God, you will not understand it. You just read the English language, but you know, the true meaning that God wants to communicate to you will be missing. That is why you need to ask God for understanding. Now, the closer you get to God, the deeper you get in Christ, the more he reveals to you. If you read your Bible in Psalm 103, verse 7, the Bible says, he made known his ways unto Moses, but his acts he made known to the children of Israel. What's God describing here? So the Bible is saying that God revealed himself to Moses in a way he did not reveal to the Israelites. You know, so the Israelites who didn't come close to God, they just knew the different things. They just saw, oh, there's a miracle here. The sea was divided and quails came and manna came. They just saw the acts of God. But the real God, the character of God, the things that make for those things to happen, the underground things that caused all the the sea to divide and all of that, the children of Israel did not have access to it. Moses had access to the ways of God. He knew God. He knew the, you know, the character of Christ, the ways of God, why God made certain decisions. But the Bible says that the children of Israel only knew the deeds. They only saw the miracles. They were not brought into that place of revelation of the word of God, revelation of, of the things of God. Why? Because they didn't come very close to God. So one of your rights as a person in Christ is to have revelation. So don't read your Bible without asking for revelation. Remind the Lord because I'm your child. The Bible says that one of the things I have privilege or access to is the secrets of the kingdom of heaven. The secrets that are in the word of God. You have access. You have a secret code. All you need to do is ask God, Lord, reveal the secret code to me as I go to read the scripture. And you're going to see all sorts of things opening up to you. And you're going to understand the Bible at a deeper level. Why? It is your privilege and your right and your inheritance as a man who is in Christ. Thank you so much for listening. God bless you. For other life-changing messages, you can now download the app Rev Oyik Speaks from Play Store for Android phone users or Apple Store for iOS users. You can also follow us on Instagram, YouTube and Telegram, all on the handle Oyik's Alfred. Your heart is higher. Just, Just one, one passion. Passion.